Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents reading Deuteronomy chapter 28. When you're groping in the dark, it is, it is a bad feeling. There's fear involved with that. When you're groping in the dark, there is trepidation. When you're groping in the dark, there's risk of being hurt. There's risk of hurting others. There's risk of doing damage. There's risk of messing up completely, of spillage, of breaking things. There's risk of destruction of one sort or another. So when you know that you do that you want to stay away from that darkness because you don't want to have to grope through your life. No, you don't. All right. So you get what I mean. You get what this is saying. Now listen. All right. And thou shalt and thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. Thou shalt betroth the wife, or husband, <laughs> that's me adding that. Thou shalt betroth the wife, and another man shall lie with her. Thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Thou shalt plant a vineyard, and shalt not gather the grapes thereof. Thine ox shall be slain before thine eyes, and thou shalt not eat thereof. Thine ass shall be violently taken away from before thy face, and shall not be restored to thee. Thy sheep shall be given unto thine enemies, and thou shalt have none to rescue them. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. There shall be no might in thine hand. The fruit of thy land and all thy labor shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up, and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. I'm going to stop there. It goes on and on, I'm telling you. But the point is, if you look at people who live by the dictates of darkness, the ways of the world, the dictates of sin, what ends up happening, you can see how their lives spiral out of control. Have any of you uh, watched the old program, Cops? Bad boy, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Okay, bad boy, bad boy. When you look at the people that the cops have to deal with in those videos, you're looking at people who have been lulled to sleep who are groping in the darkness. They're consumed with alcohol. They're consumed with drugs, substance abuse. They're consumed with violence, strife, bickering, fussing, fighting. They're consumed with petty arguments. They're consumed with rage and outbursts of volatile tempers. They're consumed with confusion. You can just see it on their face. It's so obvious. You need your life to be in a place where God can illuminate you. He will illuminate you from inside out so that everything in you is so bright it opens up your eyes even more for your natural surroundings. It helps you understand what's happening in your life, where you are. It helps you understand why people do what they do. It helps you understand yourself. You get more visibility. Your peripheral vision is wider. You can almost see out the back of your head. You can see a problem coming sometimes. You can see a troublemaker before they even get to you. Yes, because God has broadened your visions, has lifted your sights. You can see further. You can see further. You can reach further. You can reach further. You can go further. You can believe for more in your life. That's the benefit of living in the brightness of his countenance. 